think of it as almost reverse pickpocketing. So a pickpocket would distract you maybe with something and take something away from you. This is almost reverse pickpocketing. You're entertaining the person with content and you're installing some element of That's change. That's an interesting <laughs> metaphor, Chris. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Hey everybody, in this video we want to talk about hypnosis and specifically metaphors, which are a hypnotic tool, and guided imagery, which is a different hypnotic tool, and what the differences are and when you should use each of these tools. So let's start, Mike. Well, let's start with metaphor. The idea of metaphor in the hypnotic sense, not in the language sense, is you're telling a story to someone. You might be saying, oh, that reminds me of a thing my grandfather said about tomato plants mm -hmm. or this. <laughs> and you're, hewing, you're using language that is creating an internal model, an internal machine that their brain will latch on to make the change. A metaphor contains content to keep their mind occupied while the structure of the metaphor maps across to their life and makes the change. You don't say, oh, the tomato plant is you and the ladder is your Uncle Roy. No, you just tell the story. And this can be done in a waking state or in a light trance because what you are doing is keeping the conscious mind occupied with content while the structure of the metaphor works to make the unconscious change. Yeah, if you want to think of it as almost reverse pickpocketing. So a pickpocket would distract you maybe with something and take something away from you. This is almost reverse pickpocketing. You're entertaining the person with content and you're installing some element of that's change. That's an interesting yeah. metaphor, Chris. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and we're, so awake, we're awake and we're conscious and that's why it works. Mm -hmm. Now, you don't want to be using metaphor when someone is in a deep trance because you don't need it, first of all. The conscious mind is largely absent. This is when you want to be using direct suggestions, but it's also where guided imagery will come in. So in a deep trance, you can take them through some sort of journey and imagine there's a door in front and you walk through into a new horizon, a new vista, and you breathe in the fresh air and mm -hmm. the birds. Are, you're putting them in a situation rather than telling them a story. And this kind of guided imagery works really well in deep trances. Let's use an example. When you do forensic hypnosis, for example, you don't want to create false memory syndrome. Right. So what guided imagery do you typically do with someone that has a metaphorical implication? Right. I put the person in trance have them walking along a beautiful beach and I'll give you the short version they find an old-fashioned key sparkling in the sun and they decide to take it with them now the implication here is that it's going to unlock something later and they've taken it with them next I'll have them go to a beautiful cozy warm old house I'm making sure it sounds nice and safe. friendly yeah. and safe and you can explore that house you go room to room now this is a guided image and you're finding in that house drawers and cupboards and here's the secret command to find what you need to find. There's the embedded command and in that searching through the house, they find the hidden information, the appearance of the criminal, whatever it was they were looking for, and the key is unlocking it for them. That's all implied, but they're going through this internal journey. When they come out of trance, we can then run the uh, interview again, have the detectives run the interview. I've never talked to them about the case and they suddenly start getting information that they did ha did not have access to a moment before. Okay, so that's an application to forensic hypnosis, but you can imagine the same kind of thing can apply to almost any hypnotic intervention. Pretty you can, well. You can have somebody walking along a nice trail and discovering an old house, and in there, wow, there's a weird electronic control panel, and they sit down and they start turning knobs and dialing down whatever, Headaches you know. Or whatever it is. <laughs> or you can have the person, you know, going through this wonderful experience in a deep trance, and they come through a, a gateway through, a, hedge and there's a golf course and it's a perfect golf course and they're playing by themselves and they're hitting amazing 200 yard drives and they're putting perfectly and you're using this to improve their golf game. All right, so there is in a nutshell, the difference between metaphors, which are stories that you're telling to somebody versus guided imagery, and the main difference being that they're involved in the imagery. They are actually right. doing something with their imagination. And metaphor is when they're either wide awake or just mm -hmm. in a light trance, and, and guided, guided imagery, imagery is great in deep trances. Absolutely. So, hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, give it a real good poke, click, smash, whatever you want to call it, and ding that bell so that when you you are subscribed. Of course, you'll get now notified of all our YouTube videos, and we will see you in the next video.